I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. During Senate floor remarks on Thursday, Senator Steve Daines praised the Supreme Court and Justice Samuel Alito for what he believed was, quote, writing a historic injustice by overturning Roe v. Wade. He denounced Democrats' efforts to protect abortion, claiming that what he described as their radical legislation will endanger pregnant mothers and babies. Here's more from the Montana Republican. Mr. President, recently the Supreme Court righted a historic injustice, and it was clearly written in the opinion by Justice Alito. He said this is to return the power to the people, return the power to the people's elected representatives instead of nine men back in 1973 in black robe to decide this very important issue. He said the people should decide the right parameters to protect moms and their babies from the violence of abortion. And rather than use this opportunity to protect life, very soon the Senate Democrats will try to pass a very extreme, extreme abortion bill. Remember how extreme our colleagues have become on the other side of the aisle on the issue of abortion. Want to codify the ability to abort babies up until the moment of birth. In fact, we've seen my colleagues across the aisle reject trying to protect babies that were born alive as a result of an abortion. It's chilling. This bill that's going to be presented does nothing to help pregnant moms in crisis or their unborn babies. This bill, as we've been looking at it, which has been hastily put together in the last 48 hours. This bill would give fly-in abortionists free reign to commit abortions on demand up to the moment of birth, and even, it seems, perform them within a state with strong pro-life laws. This bill also protects the greed, frankly, of woke corporations who see this cheaper to pay for an abortion and abortion tourism than maternity leave for their employees. We must reject this radical legislation that will endanger pregnant mothers and endanger their babies. I yield the floor.